Hey, welcome back. This is Summer again from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. Last time, we introduced the series and architecture of Cloud Managed Caching Service, after DB for Redis on Alibaba Cloud. So uh, you have learned some typical scenarios for each type. Hope you have known how to choose right addition for your needs. Today, we're going to talk about one of the difference of read and write splitting architecture for user managed Redis and cloud managed Redis. First, let's take a look on read and write splitting for user managed Redis. Well, uh, as you can see, there are three nodes in the frame one primary node for write and two read only nodes for read. But it can be more, in fact. Um, and the data is synced from the primary node continuously. Once the primary node is done, then all write requests to Redis will be immediately filled. But um, there will be no impact on read for temporary. However, the risk for broken primary node is pretty much clear. Obviously, the longer the situation remains, the older the data in Redis will be which may lead to problems like uh, catch breakdown and catch avalanche. As a result, there might be much more workloads to OLTP database like MySQL directly, and this will become a disaster. So uh, it's very important to know whether the primary node is down or not in time that we can handle it as soon as possible to reduce the risk. But how? Well. There are many ways to choose from. Um, we'll discuss this later. Okay, now imagine you have discovered the situation, whatever tools or method you use, you just discovered anyway. Then what to do? Ideally, we would like the system to fill over automatically and with no impact on the business, right? But unlike the thing goes, the ideal is beautiful and the reality is bleak. So um, it's not going to happen if you just only implemented an original read and write splitting solution without any extra assistance or process. By default, you should set a new primary node by hand through changing Redis configuration files, but it's not enough to get it back to normal. Till now, your application are still uh, sending writes to the old primary node because of not knowing that the primary node has already changed. So what to do? Well, uh, now you need to stop your business related services and rewrite the write IP of Redis in the application config files. This, this means a downtime for business is required, maybe several minutes. Then after replacing the old write IP, run the application again and you will see everything get back to normal again. Write to the new primary node and read to all replicas. Well, uh, this is how the original user managed Redis read write splitting architecture works. As mentioned along the way, um, it only solved the needs for read and write splitting, no high availability assurance, no load balance ability for RO replicas, and it even requires minutes level downtime, which is not acceptable in some scenarios. Any solution for those problems? Oh yes, but very hard. For load balance between RO replica nodes, you can code based on a random algorithm. For example, um, for Java application, you can do so by using the class JD's Sentinel Master Slave Pool. To ensure high availability, there are many ways. For example, basically you can develop a process to achieve this or implement a Sentinel to assist you to do so or uh, with the help of third party tools like uh, Zookeeper. Um, if you are not able to code, then Sentinel seems a wiser choice and it's widely used by Redis users, but not that easy. Then uh, let's take a closer look on that. 
Well, there are two challenges for anyone who wants to design a high availability system. The one is precise monitoring, and the other is automatic failover. Sentinel can do both. It constantly checks if your primary node and replica instances are working as expected, and it can notify the system administrator or other computer programs via an API that something is wrong with one of the monitored Redis instances. If a primary node is not working as expected, Sentinel can start a failover process where a replica is promoted to primary node. The other additional replicas are reconfigured to use the new primary node, and um, the applications using the Redis server are informed about the new address to use when connecting. Besides, Sentinel acts as a source of authority for client service discovery. Clients connect to the Sentinels in order to ask for the address of current Redis primary node responsible for a given service. If a failover occurs, Sentinels will report the new address. As you can see the diagram on the right, Sentinels um, detect all nodes' status and exchange required information between each other by gossiping. When the primary node is down, they will select a leader as new primary node, change VIP, and rewrite the related configurations automatically with no downtime. In general, one Sentinel is unreliable and it's easy to have split brain. To ensure the validity of the selection, number of Sentinels should always be an odd number because the Sentinels need to vote when an incident occurs. What happens if you have three Sentinels and one of them dies? Actually, uh, there are only two left, right? And what will happen then? If with luck, nothing unusual happens, then everything runs in peace. However, once the prime node gets down, there will be problems with only two sentinels to vote for a new leader. What else? If everything runs normally, but the connection between the prime node and one of the sentinels is broken, then um, there is a split brain situation where um, one sentinel says the prime node is dead and the other says the prime node is alive. Let's give you a straight word here. In fact, even though the sentinel can save you from manual operation of Redis when an event occurs by automatic monitoring and failover, however, there's some vital weakness you cannot ignore. First, it's not that easy as it's shown to set up and even not easy to set up in the right way. Literally, uh, there are a lot of, you know, uh, don't do rules. If you didn't notice, you'll face some potential risks. For example, don't run persistent off unless you are okay with whipped instances. And second, one sentinel is not reliable. You need at least three. So um, there will be more extra resources required, which increase your costs. Third, and because there are extra parts involved, maybe to your end, the solution can become very heavy to manage and maintain. And fourth, Sentinels only protect primary node, so um, there is no HA assurance for RO um, replicas. And fifth, fifth, oops, still, there's no automatic read load balancing, right? Then um, how to solve these kind of problems properly? Well, uh, by using cloud managed Redis, like we talked before, you will easily achieve high availability without downtime and automatic load balancing for RO instances. You may find it strange um, that cloud managed Redis on Alibaba Cloud somewhat sounds like a magic compared with user managed Redis. 
So、uh, how about come and try it out for yourself? What are you waiting for? Move now. Okay,、uh, that's all for today.、Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.